Happy New Year, Pisces. I'm so happy to be on the other side with all of you. I hope that everybody had a really beautiful New Year, New Year's Eve celebration ritual, however you decided to bring in the New Year. Um, I pulled my intention stone today was focus. And when I pulled it, I went, oh, yep, I know that's right. That is exactly what it is. Yesterday, I was like doing a lot of reflecting on what I want this year to look like. So I'm just going to offer this up for anybody who wants it or needs it. The theme of this year for me is going to be expansion. And every month I'm going to have a different focus on what area I will be expanding in and like fully immersing myself in that. If that resonates, take it. If not, I totally get it. I'm sure you have your own shit going on too. Funny because wealth was the one I pulled yesterday to wrap the year. And I was like, holy shit. I like spent the whole year really manifesting foundations, right? To get to that point of feeling like I have a path towards this. Okay. Thank you so much for being here, Pisces. We're going to do 2023, a uh, year ahead for the Pisces Collective in love. And this is not just singles. This is everybody. Love. Okay. So whether you're partnered, partnered, situated or not, um, this will be the love pile. Could also be like love with yourself. If you're taking a celibate year, I fully support you and see you. I'm coming, well, I'm still in it, but <laughs> I'm hoping to end that project of myself too. Oh my God, I'm saying way too much. God. Love, career and finance, spirituality, personal development, the sun showed its face. Spirituality and personal development. The Six of Swords. So we got for love, Knight of Cups for career and finance. The Hermit for spirituality and personal development. Six of Swords. And then we're going to have a general pile for anything that I miss or any additional messages that are supposed to come through for any of you watching. Okay. What's the general? Thanks for being here, guys. We have a full moon coming up on Friday. If you want to join me for the full moon ceremony, the link to register for that. It's going to be chill. Um, releasing whatever we want to release that's lingering. Um, I'm going to offer cord cutting in addition to the fire ritual. Okay. Ooh. I'll keep them. So for the general, we have two of pentacles and the knight of wands. That will be interesting. Okay. Bottom of the deck, yep, the tower in reverse, the internal tower. We are walking away from a tower of a year. What a banger. All right, so for love, this is great. Knight of Cups, we have whether you are in a situationship, single, you're in a romantic partnership or commitment of some kind, or you're working on your self-love, however, whatever. Knight of Cups, beautiful. Chivalry action there's going to be movement in this area of your life it's blessed this white horse good omen um this is pisces cancer scorpio energy so you could be partnered with or soon to be partnered with a water sign or somebody that embodies water sign traits um, or has heavy water in their chart the knight of cups is a very what is the word there is regal okay there is a regalness about the approach. There is a traditional chivalry that is romantic in nature and thoughtful in nature and brings out the primal femininity or primal masculinity in you, not in an animalistic way, but in a surrendering way where you submit. Oh, God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, we need to do like High Priestess Healing Tarot After Dark. Maybe that'll be the subscription that we do so we can really get into the, the words I want to use. 
but this is it's coming in and it's coming in sweet and slow and pretty when it comes in it's going to be like it's not trotting right it's not running it's not rushing and it's not slow it's like coming in very elegantly oh i love it think of like flowing water right this this beautiful river in the background it's just like really mm, what is the word so sorry i'm like English doesn't come to me when I'm channeling. It's gonna be really smooth. And he's got a little smile on his face. Good, they should. They should be smiling coming at you, right? So that's the overall for love for now. We'll go layers deeper um, with that. The career and finance pile, pile is opening up with the hermit. So your career and finance, this is beautiful. You're doing this alone. You're building something for you by you. That sounds like FUBU, um, for us, by us, right? And this is perfection, number nine, the hermit. And by doing this, by building your career or pivoting your career path or enhancing your skill set, I used to be a career coach, um, or building your finances or becoming money smart, right? Investing your time in financial literacy, building that up. Actually, if anybody needs... If anybody needs financial um, literacy content to follow, I suggest Tori Dunlap on Instagram. And there's another one. Fuck, I'm forgetting her name. All right, I'll, I'll find it and I'll, I'll post it somewhere. Highly recommend, especially anyone who's single out there. If you come from a family that, you know, wasn't well versed in financial literacy or you just came up in the public school system that like just trains us to be robots and have no thinking mind for yourself. Okay. What I'm trying to say is you're doing this alone and you're, you might even be doing this in silence. Like people might not be, might not know what it is that you're building, what your plans are, what your pivots are. They might feel your energy of like, whoa, Pisces is like plotting. Pisces is quiet. Pisces is building. What's Pisces working on, right? But that's all for a reason. Spirit wants you to do this. This is a major arcana, right? This is your higher self guiding you in this way. Keep your plans stealth you know share with the people you love if you feel called to use discernment though don't announce your plans it's i read this somewhere it's like don't talk about what you're gonna do do it and then announce what you did and that is like that's the reward because sometimes we get that dopamine rush of like i'm gonna do this you like start telling people i'm going to do this and you get the dopamine rush like you already did it and so you you get a little you can get stagnant doing this in silence is like stealth mode and what it's going to do see that star in the lantern there's a little tarot teaching that's the star card and the star card healing wish fulfillment authenticity stripped down to your like realness you're actually connected to your authentic higher self by doing this going on this journey of career and finance that's where you're headed that's two major arcanas really in one i love that Virgo energy, earth energy. For spirituality and personal development, six of swords, you are choosing to move away from the old paradigms, the old storylines, the old narratives that no longer serve you. You're moving away from five of swords, conflict, um, anxiety, people telling you how you should be, look, feel, react, work, respond, love, etc., you're moving away also might be in silence. This also might be a little secret retreat M moving into yourself and not necessarily like talking about your spiritual path with others. That's that happens sometimes. Right. And that's OK. Um, but again, moving away from rough waters to calm, still waters. You know, what came to me last night. Somebody said the word bored and I was like in my head. Bored is peace. <laughs> I will take a peaceful life. Listen, I had chaos. I'm not down. I am, I'm not made for chaos. My nervous system appreciates peace. Card number six is harmony, right? Spiritually, you're moving into harmony with yourself. That's beautiful, Pisces. And then for general, I'm so curious what's going to come up here. We have the Knight of Wands. So that's passionate energy moving very quickly, very fiery, very... um 
spirit led in nature, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, and then two of pentacles in reverse. So moving away from juggling energy, juggling two things, ju or not two things. It could be two things, but juggling, like whatever it was that you ju were juggling in 2022. Ooh, two, 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 2022. Whatever you were juggling, you're dropping. You're like, I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not juggling anymore. I'm going to go off on this path. And there's already... Um, buds of growth here in your in your general column all right let's pull from this next deck thanks for being here guys if you're already excited for this please hit that like button i would love to hear if anything is already underway so for love spirit guides guardian angels okay guys for the sun spirit guides guardian angels ancestors archangel michael please help me in pulling insights for the pisces 2023 collective reading in love what's to come in love What's to come in love? I wish I could play music during these, but they, uh, wow. Oh, Pisces. I think whatever is coming is going to take you by surprise. It's going to sweep you off your feet and make you a very melted pile of goo. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I love it. Melt, melt, melt. I was driving by the beach this morning. I drive to the beach every day. And some of the bay was frozen over, and I actually gasped. I was like, oh, my God. Like, stunning. It's beautiful, right? And I was, you know, I'm always talking to God and my higher self and my guides. And they were like, let it melt you. Let it melt you. Let it melt you. I'm going to say that to you, Pisces. Let love melt you this year. Feminines, allow it to melt you. Masculines, go melt somebody. Let yourself do that. It's going to feel so rewarding when you do, right? This is going to be sudden. It's going to, it might take a lot of people by surprise. You might end up in a relationship with somebody that isn't somebody you typically um, date in the past. Just, you know, showing how much you've grown really taking a risk showing up authentically um it also might rock other people's worlds but again that's not your problem pisces okay so if the tower comes down for other people when you are out living your best life you, you got to keep it moving you can't worry about those people right um scorpio energy some of you might be involved with a scorpio this might go down big time in scorpio season there might be like a level up of some kind in love in scorpio season for some of you not all of you I also see that there's going to be, there's something about the way you two express and communicate, not just love to each other. There's going to be, your love languages are going to, what's the word, complement each other. Think cancer, that yin and yang, right? Your love languages will complement each other, but there's going to be a lot of deep, deep introspective conversation around like what love means to you, how you feel loved, how they feel loved, like ways in which you guys can express love to one another that you haven't um, really experienced with someone before. So for anyone who's in a relationship, this is going to be deepening. You're going to be taking your intimacy to a different level. For anyone single, this is to come so you can get excited. There's hope here, right? Um, for anyone in situationships, same thing. Think about, or not think, allow. Again, that word allow. Who said this yesterday? Blue Phoenix, go watch Planet Pisces. She's another one. Great. Allowing, allow the love to melt you, right? That's what my guy was saying this morning. Um, but allow the communication to happen however it comes in. Sometimes we might have a an idea in our mind of how things should look and feel the tower reminds us you're not in control pisces you gotta you gotta go with that flow so when things when when intimate conversations arise immerse in it it's okay go with it that's exciting mm, okay career and finance the hermit these pisces need to know <gasps> oh my gosh this is another example of Higher self, free will on the same page. You're releasing 
you're releasing the bondages, you're releasing the blindfold, you're releasing the self-imprisonment, all of the restrictions that you've previously allowed your mind to convince yourself were true. You're releasing all of that in this career and finance journey. You're setting off on goals that are going to seem unrealistic to others. Good. That means you're on the right path. Good. You are going to be allowing yourself to move in fear, with fear, towards the healing, towards the wish fulfillment, towards the things that scare us in the dark, because that's the only way. To get to it, you got to go through it, right? This is card number eight. This is card number nine. Boom, boom. That's a sequence, baby. I love it. Eight is also abundance, right? This is... Ugh, I get so jazzed up about people making their career... It's not everything, right? Our emotional happiness, that's everything. But there's a great, a big majority of us where when we rewrite our career and finance story, we get to a place of emotional fulfillment that is healing a deep wound in us from childhood, adolescence, young adulthood. And it's generational. It's not just your lifetime. You are going to be healing you, your family, your daughters, your sons, your parents, your aunts and uncles and cousins, everyone watching you because you are going to do the things that no one lets themselves do or lets themselves believe because people will be like, you're really arrogant if you think you can do that. Like, what makes you think you can do that? You know what, though? The only way to do those things is you have to be delusional enough to believe it can be done. And that's you, Pisces. You're kidding. The sun at the bottom of the deck. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. What can't you do? Nothing. There's nothing you can't do. There's nothing you can't do. I don't know why I just put this down. I just retired the reading. Sorry. All right. Spiritual spirituality, personal development. Thanks for being here, guys. If you're excited about this, can you hit that like button? Let me know how you feel. Um, if you feel comfortable sharing with me what your career and finance goals are for 2023 in the comments, I would love to know. That part gets me really jazzed up. If not, that's okay. Just drop some, maybe drop some money emojis in the comments if you know that you have big career and finance goals this year. Spirituality, we're moving away from the troubled waters to still waters. Mm, to receive. Ugh. To receive. To receive. God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Ugh, I wish we could hold hands or hug. <sighs> this is so great. This is another. <laughs> Free will is bringing you right into your soul contract, higher self, Empress. If some of you spiritually are looking to connect with um, the divine, look at this God beam. Do you see it? I hope this comes up. It's going to come up in the video, I think. See this right here? Right on the Empress, right? Um, you're healing mother wounds. Some of you are connecting with the earth mother earth gaia the more time you spend in nature you will find more clarity peace and inner knowing and stillness right and from that comes creativity birthing new ideas birthing new ways of doing things allowing yourself to respond instead of react there's such embodiment here I would, if you have your birth chart on your phone, um, check to see your Venus placement. There may be additional info there for you. And Venus corresponds with love. You know what? You might experience some... I think a lot of people are going to experience spiritual healing through love on top of connecting with divine feminine energy, whether that's attracting a divine feminine Maybe you're a masculine watching and, and maybe you haven't connected on a really deep spiritual level with a lover or partner that that looks like it's coming for you this year and it's going to heal what any kind of maternal or feminine wounds you have from previous relationships or previous dynamics with women or feminines. For the feminines watching, flip it and reverse it, but same thing, there's going to be some level of healing, a deep level of healing, I should say through love, but it's going to be through attracting and 
not just attracting, it's like the receiving, it's allowing. Things are going to come to you. You're not going to have to work for it. You're going to be able to show up just as yourself and be loved. And through that, you're going to be healing a lot of your maternal energy, whether that's wounding or if you are trying to become a mother or, um, or if you're already pregnant. There's going to be healing through because the pregnancy journey is like a psychedelic journey. It's like a true, it changes you, right? Oh God, this is just going to take care of you. This journey is just taking care of you. To go from six of swords to the empress, I mean, because you put down all the burdens of the past, acknowledged them for what they were, thanked them for what they were, and you're like, okay, I'm going to sit pretty here. Or for the masculines, you're traveling away from the craziness of spiritual chaos <laughs> maybe a road lacking spirituality and go down the spiritual path you come across your empress and you're like whoa i didn't know life career spirituality and love and sex could be like this but it's true there's so much healing in that mm, this is so beautiful guys i can't even though for our general pile, the Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles in Reverse, leaving juggling and moving, putting things down that we were juggling, right? And no longer doing that like emotional, like taking on too much and having too much on our plate and moving forward in a from a place of spontaneity and spirit-led decision-making, passion, fire is being clarified by the High Priestess. Look at the Major Arcanas. The tower, the hermit, the empress, the high priestess. Listen to me. Listen. 2023 is the year seven, right? This is going to be a spiritually awakening year for everybody. You're already on the path, so you're good. That's why you have all these majors showing up here. Your free will and your higher self are on the same path. Everything's going to be easier for you now. It's also going to be harder because like, that is actually the nature of the contrast, right? The, the lessons will be harder, but your spirit will be stronger. Trust your intuition and your inner knowing every step of the way. I mean, you already know this. There's not, I don't need to tell you this, Pisces. I also think this is a year for divine feminines, not just like the divine feminines rising up, but mas divine masculines acknowledging the need and honor of divine femininity and pouring into that. Whoa, Knight of Wands at the bottom. Okay, okay. I'm really like, I do, there is like sexual healing that's going to happen this year. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? That's not, it's not a bad thing. Okay, let's do this. Let's get some connectors now. Thanks for being here, 2251 on the clock. Okay. So this Knight of Cups in this tower, this sudden melting, this sudden chivalry, this sudden movement in love, whether it's with yourself or somebody else. Oh my God, what did I just say? It's gonna be sexual healing. This is sexual. <laughs> there is temptation here. There is sexual healing here. There is um, lust and attraction, and it's gonna take you by storm. This is another major arcana. They might have very light eyes, whomever you become involved with. They might have light eyes. They might have a chest tattoo. They might have a right bicep tattoo, arm tattoo. They might be a Capricorn. The only thing, you know, we know the deal. The only thing we need to watch out for is any kind of codependent um, tendencies that might bubble up, but... Pisces, you know, you know the deal. You've been through. Not your first rodeo out here in these streets. Damn, the chariot, and it's going to come in fast. Oh, my God. Fast. When? <laughs> when? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Pisces, this is crazy. I feel like a smitten kitten. Okay, career and finance. You've got it. Spirit is hooking this reading up. Career and finance, moving away from this self, the self-limiting beliefs, moving into a hermit mode, working on your career and finance in solitude with deep introspection and focus, allowing for yourself to 
heal and become authentic in how you show up in career and finance. It is your calling. This is why I got choked up. Well, I get choked up every day. This is why I got choked up yesterday, though. Those two tens, the 20, this was a preview for today. That was the preview. If you didn't watch yesterday's, go watch yesterday's. It was the wrap for 2022. Judgment, card number 20. That's your soul calling. Whatever it is you're working on in career and finance, keep going. This is the sign. Keep going. If you haven't started, you have that idea, but you haven't started, go. Do it. Do the littlest thing you need to do. Just start putting the aligned action out there. Every time you put a little bit of aligned action out, you're telling the universe, yes, this is where I'm going to move. And they will give, they will match you. Every morsel you put out, they're going to match you. And the bigger you put out, the more they match you with. When you hit resistance, pivot. Okay. Because this is the universe coming in to balance the scales after 2022. Justice, Libra energy. All right, spirituality, six of swords and the empress, this beautiful harmonizing. And three and six are divinity numbers, right? Mind, body, and soul connection. <laughs> Again. This is really, I hope that you're as hyped as I am. I feel very fangirly when I get crazy on here, but look at all these major fucking arcanas. It's in, this is not um, common. It's not common. It's rare. It's a big deal. You're a big deal. This is a big deal. We are a big deal. Your spiritual journey it, this year is going to bring you everything you want. And it's, again, spirit balancing the scales because last year you completed all those karmic tests and you went without. And you went without over and over and over again because your faith is strong and you knew if you kept going in alignment and believing in your faith and believing in your higher self and knowing there's a higher purpose for all the bullshit and fuckery, that things would balance out. And now spirit's saying, you were right. And now they're going to balance out. Because you died a million deaths last year, and now we're being reborn. This is this year. We are reborn, Pisces. Scorpio energy again. Did I say that was Scorpio energy before? I didn't mean to. What is the tower? I forget. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Capricorn season. Okay, some of you might be getting like flutters of love in Capricorn season. Please let me know in the comments right now. Are you in a something? Is something happening right now? And before Capricorn season wraps, let me know if this starts. Okay. There may be a big balancing of the scales in Libra season too. Something like big. I'm still going to stick with the Scorpio thing I said before though. I said it for a reason. There may be a big change in your love life in Scorpio season. Maybe like a higher level of commitment. Whether that's moving from... F buddies to dating or dating to monogamous, monogamous to, I don't know, living together, engaged, married, or deepening the intimacy in some, some way. I love it. Again, major arcanas, major arcanas. Fate, destiny, soul contract, divine intervention, because you are a good little girl or a good little boy, Pisces. Yeah. This is the year that we heal that heart. Came out in reverse, right? This is the year... All the heart chakra stuff is being healed now. Aquarius energy. All right. Okay. General. What do we need to know for the general? This Knight of Wands. Just one card, please. Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse. Okay. Remember the the Hermit? I almost said the Virgo. Hermit came out before, right? Doing, Doing this career finance journey alone. Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Cups. Community, sisterhood, celebration, mind, body, soul connection. Um, the sisters of fate, right? Did I say community? I meant to. In reverse. You may, if you haven't already, you may have to release community in whatever way, that, however that looks. Your old friends, your old friend group, your old colleagues, your, I don't know, support group, your work buddies, your happy hour friends. For this general reading, you're going to, you may have to release some of these people. 
to keep, that might be the things that you were juggling, like trying to keep this group happy while you're working on this, but you also have a side hustle and maybe you're like, I don't know, working a night job, a double job, two jobs, or like you're in school or something and you're trying to like balance all these people and keep all these people happy, right? I think you are going to have to walk away from that and you're going to have to accept the solitude of this journey in any which way, whether it's love, career, finance, or spirituality. But don't force it. If you feel like you're not going to have to do that, then cool. Good for you. Back tattoos here. But um, see how most of these cards are single players? Single players. Except like we have the boatman. I forget what this is called. The ferryman. This to me gives feminine energy, but it could be masculine and a child. So it's like, could be a team of you on your spiritual journey. Or it's just your mind, body, and soul. Let's call it, right? I don't know. I just think that this year is going to be a solo journey with the exception of love. But even your love experience, it's going to be like a very introspective experience. Yeah, three of cups in reverse, the five of swords. So remember we said six of swords. We're moving away from conflict and chaos spiritually. You might have to release any people, places, or things that don't, don't understand this journey for you. You're going to have to release them for the bounty to come in and the, and the clarity to stay sharp, right? 3104, we're going another layer deeper, kids. All right, love. What else do we need to know about love? 2023 for the Pisces Collective. Love, love, love. Can you hit that like button if this is exciting you in any way hangman another major arcana transformational energy pisces energy look at that chrysalis what did i tell you this is going to be a transformative transformative transformational experience in love you guys really who's fucking with water signs i'm serious What is the, does anybody remember of the tower? I would, I'm using my phone to record this. I should bring my laptop in here. I don't remember what the tower's um, zodiac is. But some of you are engaging with water signs. Doesn't have to be though. But for real, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. It's fate, it's destiny, it's soul matey. You're going to feel very connected to this person. You might connect on this like, spiritual cosmic level you might feel like you've known each other from past lives you might feel like you've known each other from your previous life from a different star seed planet for those of you that identify with that you're really gonna practice surrendering to some of you are going on medicine journeys with mother ayahuasca this year god bless you and that might bring about a transformational energy in how you love how you express love and how you receive love damn oh that's right and the hangman is card number 12 which breaks down to three And the tower breaks down to seven, and that's this year. Oh my god, Father of Cups in reverse. Another water. I can't even. Jeez. I can't even. I'm getting like overwhelmed. Okay, career and finance. Too many. I'm so serious. This is insane. Two major arcanas again, the Wheel of Fortune in your favor, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. Ugh, why do I always do this? Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Thank you. This is also Scorpio. Something's happened, guys. Something's happening in Scorpio season, career and finance. You're going to hit something big. There's going to be something hit big. I don't know if you play lotto or if you have made an investment in your business or investment in your career in some capacity. It's gonna be a major payout in Scorpio season. It keeps coming up.
This is karma. This is karma. Q Taylor Swift's karma, right? Doing everything I can to not sing that song right now. Okay. <laughs> um, for real, this is your karma, guys, because last year was a, a brutal one. Death in reverse. This is internal. This is major, major transformational energy on your career and financial path and fortune is like literally wheel of fortune fortune it's literally it says fortune it doesn't even say wheel right and think look at those lights you're on top baby and doesn't the middle look like a star stars and it's a 10 you know you tell me what's a 10 my students my little pisces babies again i feel like i'm just hosting you at my home right now does anybody want any tea or Mary Jane. I'm just kidding. That's a joke, YouTube, please. Okay. Pisces, I hope you feel revved the fuck up. This is fucking great. This is what you deserve. This is what we deserve. Crossroads energy. But you did this. Free will. You did this. You did this. You did this. You co-created with spirit and God, right? Always express gratitude. There's never a wrong time to express gratitude. That's what I said when I, after I died on ayahuasca and I came back, I awoke. I was like, oh my God, there's never, I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so grateful to touch earth and touch grass. There's never a wrong time to be grateful. Spirituality. Ooh. Wow. Ten of swords in reverse. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm unwell. Ten of swords, pain, the painful traumas and and endings of the past, right? All the pain pain that we lug around. This came up yesterday, right? Closing out 2022. And it came out like this. This spiritual journey is transmuting all of that shit. It's going to control all, delete all of the ouch that we've been carrying. All of it, all of it, all of it. It's tra transmuting that energy. Another 10, 10, 10, sheesh, 20, Oh my God, the fool following the rainbows, following your path, taking a leap of faith, knowing you're divinely guided, knowing you're supported by spirit. Pisces, come on. Can you please hit those like buttons and like, I don't know, something in the comments. <laughs> please drop all of the green hearts in the comments. I love it. Ace of Wands, it's a new beginning, baby. All right, so for our general now. The Three of Cups was the last thing that came out, right? Okay, an energy of receiving. Six of Pentacles. There's something about trusting your intuition to guide your moves, guide your ventures and actions. Guiding your actions, that's what it is. Something about allowing your intuition to guide your actions that will result in reciprocated energy from others and from spirit being in an energy of receiving bounty okay can i get one more six pentacles earth energy so for because this is a general this is gonna this pile is gonna be different for everybody so for some of you this is relational for some of you this is like actually trusting your gut in terms of career and finance and like your gut, your intuition, and fire. And that's going to lead to a more balanced pay, like actual coin. For others, it'll be relational, and you'll be able to receive more energy from your earthly peers. What is the other bounty? Oh, blessings, um, your spiritual blessings. So for those of you who are intuitives, healers, psychics, um, other card, re you know, tarot readers, Reiki practitioners, you know, all of the healing, all of the, all of the healers, all the healing modalities and spiritual modalities, you're going to get, they're going to be amplified this year. I think that was all that kept coming up in readings last year in the fall. So you're going to be rained down upon with your spirituality, uh, spiritual gifts. They're all going to be enhanced. Okay. Can I get one more? Thank you, Spirit. Can I get one more? That's way too many, but the Hermit, again. The Magician. Look at how it... I'm not married. Don't worry. There's still time for you, but, but 
still though. Okay. <laughs> the magician. Um, this is sick. The magician and the high priestess sometimes are counterparts. Really, it's like the hierophant, but the magician and the high priestess, they can, you know, they fuck around too. Magician using everything in your 3D world and your connection to spirit to create whatever it is that you want to experience in this world. So remember I just said your spiritual gifts are going to be given more spiritual, like a stronger intuition or a louder intuition, or for those of you who are clairvoyant, any of, whatever your clair is, whatever your primary clair sense is, or, or primaries, they will become enhanced, and you'll be able to use those in your 3D world using the 3D, like, how much money do I have? What are my skills? What does my skill set look like? What are my communication abilities? What is my emotional intelligence? In conjunction with your spiritual gifts that are coming down to actually manifest faster, stronger, bigger, harder. Six of Wands in reverse. Do not... Be scared of this. This is what you've been waiting for, right? Step into it. We're going to do it with fear. One more layer, babies. Let's connect the dots. Final messages for love. Final messages for love, spirit. Pisces, thanks for being here. I hope this is lifting you up as much as this is lifting me up. I'm like, okay, 2023, let's fucking go. Let's go. Spirit is like carrying us over the finish line right okay final messages in love thank you spirit thank you spirit two of cups holding hands didn't i say i wanted to hold your hands at the beginning i'm a toucher and a crier in case you don't know <laughs> holding hands following the rainbows both cups are filled you you're coming into union with yourself or with another having already filled your own cup and then that person adds to your cup so the question should be in love and romance this year what does this person add to me and if they don't add to you they got the go okay love 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 if you don't want to have a baby listen to me empress and the devil if you don't want to have a baby, you better do what you got to do to not have that, not, you're in co-creation mode, guys. I, okay. Career and finance, final messages for career and finance. Look, one, two, three, four major arcanas. One, two, three major arcanas. One, two major arcanas. One, two major arcanas, okay. Your career and finance, this is like telling me that everybody who's like been doing the aligned action in your career and finance you're actually on your spiritual you're in your calling that's again why i got so choked up yesterday you are in it you're on it you're right you're on the money all right final words for career and finance thank you spirit guides guardian angels ancestors archangel michael please help me in pulling one last final message for the pisces collective in career and finance for 2023 what overall message do we have for the pisces collective for 2023 wow four of pentacles Look at this, holding on too tightly, maybe to our coin, being afraid to make moves because do I have enough money? Is this career gonna pay out? Um, I have to hold on to all my money because that's how you save and build wealth. That's not true, that's what they teach us though. In reverse, releasing it to step into your stability. Releasing all the paradigms to step into your true safety, security, and foundational security and it's pentacle so it's on the money i gotta look up runes she's got a rune earring on i think that came up in another reading it looks like a fish kind of you know if you turn it sideways i'll try to remember to look that shit up Spirituality, final message for spirituality, our personal development, and our spiritual growth this year. Thanks for playing with me, guys. This is fun. I have this drum. Is it 
in here? No. Um, okay. You're gonna get really consistent with your practices. Whatever spiritual rituals and practices you have, you're gonna get really consistent. That means meditating regularly, journaling regularly, honoring the full moon and releasing with the moon regularly, whatever it means to you, whatever practices you have in place, becoming regular with them and adding on to them. Here's the thing. This is the contrast with our like spiritual out. I hope I can explain this right. 45 minutes, my God. Okay, it feels like 20, sorry. Thanks for being here if you're here, 45s. Um, our innate passion, motivation, and inspiration, that fire, it it comes in like hits, right? Like I don't I don't ride my day all day being inspired. I do things all day to maintain my nervous system so that when the inspiration, motivation, fire comes in, I can strike on it or I can acknowledge, oh, there it is, right? But I've had to become disciplined, and this is still a work in progress. Do not, I am, do not by any means think that I am perfect. I am <laughs> far from. But to really be able to optimize that energy, you have we have to get really consistent with our practices and our routines. Wow, I can't believe I got that. I can't believe I got that. That's what that is. And everything is on your side. That wasn't even like a little spank. That was like, just get regular, make a routine, get a meditation buddy or, you know, someone to check in, like an accountability buddy. Or like every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I meditate at 11 a.m. at the same time as like, I don't know, Shannon, Dana, Faye, Turquoise, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hypothetically. Okay, final message for the general pile over here. We've got the hangman and the eight of cups, another combo of soul and free will. Okay, remember we talked about this three of cups, like you might have to leave communities. I think that's what this is saying again. <laughs> There's going to be, we did a lot of releasing in 2022. So now we're in a vantage point of you cleaned house. So now clutter is going to be really, really, really easy to spot. Energetic clutter. Continue clearing out the corners and dusting the energetic clutter. Anything that doesn't, again, add to you. What does this person add to me? What does this group add to me? What does this... Instagram account, add to me. What does this tarot reader, for real, add to me? If I'm not, listen, I want you to be here. But if I'm not adding to you, you got to go find a tarot reader that is adding to you, right? Making you see things in a different way, a new way, an approachable, some, whatever, whatever works for you. It's all the same shit. So looking at, we might have to adjust how we look at leaving things. You're not abandoning anybody, Pisces. They might feel that way because that's their perception. But we talked about perception yesterday in the hangman energy, right? Perception is not truth. It's a lens. And you cannot control a change or affect anybody else's perception. You walking away from anyone or anything to preserve yourself, that's enlightened. That is an enlightened approach to living. Doesn't mean that they're a bad person. Doesn't mean that they are toxic in nature. It just means that it's not adding to you and you are going to live a very focused year making sure that the only things you are consuming and allowing to be in your energetic sphere are adding to and anything else is clutter and it's going to go. And that's how you're going to be able to manifest big. Also Pisces energy here. Pisces, Pisces. Yeah, leaving any codependent relationships in the past, any uh, people pleasing. No more, pe 
Oh, more people pleasing. Oh my God. Decline those baby showers. You don't want to go. Don't fucking go. Jesus. Um, no more people pleasing. No more accepting love bombing situations or any kind of like emotional immaturity in friendships, family patterns. You're not here to look Pisces. You're not here to coddle everybody. Can you? Do you have the gift? Yes. Yes, you do. But that's not your job. It's their job. That's a gift that you have that you get to choose how and when you're going, going to use it, whether it's reserved solely for your intimate relationships or if it's in your career calling, that means you put a price tag on it. This shit ain't free anymore, baby, right? Okay, and let's pull one moon card. You're very close to achieving your goal this year. Give us moon. Mm -hmm. Keep going. This is going to be, doesn't this look like the death card? Where is it? Oh, it was at the bottom. <sighs> this is your year, Pisces. I don't know where I put you. Thank you for 50 minutes here. Oh my God. If you're still here, can you drop 50s in the comments? I love you so much, Pisces. Look at our beautiful year. Take peace and solace today and tomorrow, because tomorrow's a bank holiday, right? Knowing it's all working out for you. And maybe like, do whatever you need to do to take care of you to prepare for all the goodness coming your way. Because Tuesday is the start of the new work week, right? And we're off to the races. Coming in hot. I love you, Pisces. Bye.